Hi everyone, this is Amber Chamberlain. Um, I am the technology integrator for K through four, and I'm super excited to be working with all of you this year. Um, I wanted to do a quick video, not just to introduce myself, but to also show you um, how to use some of the new devices that you might have seen already in your classroom. Some of you may have already had something like this before. I know in previous years, my first year here at the Sebastian Cook School, I had um, a Chromebox, um, but the projectors now have a wireless keyboard and a mouse. Um, it is a little bit different than how we projected from our Chromebooks last year. So last year, you would have been able to go up to the top right-hand corner of your screen, click the three little snowmen or the three little circles, and select cast. And it would cast your tab that you were currently on. Um, I know that some people... Um, had a little bit of difficulties because it would only show that one tab. And so they would have to um, uncast and cast again or um, toggle a little bit with the settings to make sure that they were casting their whole desktop and not just that tab. Um, I also know, because I did this quite often, it was really easy to cast to another room. Sorry, Maria. <laughs> um, I, um, I do love that feature. I do love the cast right from the laptop because it's easy if you already have something prepared and on your laptop and ready to go. Um, but this is another way that you can utilize your projector. So I wanted to first show you that it is on a different source. So as you can see, um, this is the source that it's usually on. Um, it usually has that background that has the pretty, the pretty pictures that um, change. And this is how you can cast from your uh, computer, from your laptop. I'm going to just hit on the projector um, remote where it says source scan. You can also hit the HDMI button because it will be on HDMI 3. Um, this will just change the input um, of your projector. So I'm going to hit source scan. And you'll notice it went from HDMI 2 to HDMI 3. So as you can see, I've already logged on to this Chrome box. This is in Nicole Sieber's room um, in Sebastian Cook. And uh, it is just like logging into any uh, Google or, or any RSU device. Um, so I already have logged in using my RSU account and I just need to put in my password. And it's slowly going. So, um, as you can see, oh, it's not my first time, so some of my. So, as you can see, it will log in as a. Um, it's different from my computer because my computer has many tabs open, so it is it is a different device as my computer. It won't have the same tabs, but it does have because I am logged in with RSU nineteen email. It does have all of my bookmarks already saved. Um, and things like that that would be typically saved on my Google account. Um, so with this, I would just use this as a any regular device. I would use the wireless keyboard to navigate to any websites that I want to use or videos. Um, it's also really helpful because uh, you don't have to toggle with the settings within a Google Meet. So if you want to use uh, the Chrome box or the wireless keyboard, to project a Google Meet, it will already, the sound will automatically go through your projector speakers, so you won't have to um, mess with any of the settings. Um, a, another reason I really like the Chromebox um, versus just the computer is because you can navigate with your students. So if you're trying to show them how to get to a site or a particular thing, um, you can do it with them so that they can see what you're doing and model it. I hope that has been helpful. Um, in order to go back to, if you wanted to just go back to your cast on your um, computer, I just hit that source scan button again, and it scanned right to the HDMI 2, um, which is the other thing that's hooked up. So that is the conclusion of this resource or this video. I hope it has been really helpful for you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. You can use my website. Um, you may also use my email. I'm always available by email at any time. Um, and I look forward to working with you this year.